Hi there, and welcome to week three, and welcome to my recap of your responses to the week two activity, which was amazing. I'm just uh, so delighted and encouraged and inspired, honestly inspired, by the responses that I read um, to the tasks in in the discussion boards. It was really wonderful to go through the, uh, and, and watching um, the conversation develop and questions like people coming in and just being vulnerable and saying, look, I don't understand this. And then the next person coming along and then working through a better understanding of the question on, and then eventually coming up with um, a, a much better and well-rounded idea of, uh, of what is now known. So I hope that makes sense. I know sometimes I tend to talk in circles, but we'll try and stay on the ball. It was, uh, the discussion was really good and I was really inspired. And I've, I've taken um, the most inspiring comments that I read and some funny ones-ish and put them at the top of um, the, uh, the discussion that you can see here below. A uh, couple of things I just wanted to quickly mention in relation to Assignment 2, because I know a lot of people are thinking about Assignment 2, and the first question in Assignment 2 um, it relates to uh, credible... Well, the whole assignment's about credible sources. Let me just go into the, assi into the assignment section, and I'm just going to read what it says there at the start. So at the start of the... Um, for uh, question 1... Uh, which is very similar to question two. It says, why is it important to me as a tertiary learner to use credible sources? Now, I know in week two, we've had a really heavy handed look at uh, academic integrity. Uh, this question is not asking you about acad academic integrity. And in fact, academic integrity and um, your ability to find credible sources are two, or, are two different uh, issues. That they, there is some a small relationship between the two because when you're using credible sources, you have to use credible sources according to the rules of engagement, so to speak. So let's have a quick, um, let me see if I can explain that perhaps in a, um, a sporting or a gaming analogy. So if you're playing a game or a sport, um, you know, whether it's an online game or a board game or cricket or um, rowing, there are rules of the game. And these, you're expected to follow the rules of the game. And so academic integrity um, and, uh, and not plagiarizing and not cheating, these are the rules of the game in university and in study. Then there are the skills of the game. So uh, the, the skills are being able to find credible research. So that's the difference. There's the rules of the game, academic integrity, and then the skills of the game, which is um, um, this, one, of the, one of the key skills is um, research and being able to locate credible sources. And then you use the rules of the game uh, when you incorporate those uh, credible sources into your assignments. So just a, a very important point there. In assignment two, we don't want you writing about academic integrity. It's a given that you all want to play by the rules of the game. We do want you to write about um, the importance of, um, of the skill of finding and using credible sources. Now, if you're not too sure about the difference, um, have me, now that I've explained it, um, please follow up with the question in the discussion board in the assignment two discussion. I'll be happy to follow up. Okay, let's move on to what my review of um, your responses to week two and in relation to the self-assessment tool. Um, I know we're talking about your next assignment is assignment two, but actually the success profiling tool uh, will be used in assignment three. So let me go to assignments, back to the assignments page. I'll just bring up where I am. So I'm, I'm currently on the assignments page and go to assignment three and to the assignment criteria section. And you'll see here in the first uh, criteria, which is worth 15% of the mark um, for a pass, you must mention uh, the outcomes of the success profiling tool. So doing the success profiling tool, and I'll just open that up in another window. 
modules. It's module 2.7. So the, the success profiling tool, once you complete it, it's going to um, provide you with a list of um, attributes uh, that respond to these questions that you've been asked. And it's going to give you an idea um, according to these, and I'll just, these are the attributes here that it's um, focused on. And it's going to give you an idea of whether you're um, already um, comfortable um, in this, with this particular attribute or these attributes, or whether you could perhaps um, develop the attribute or one or more of these attributes to um, improve yourself. Um, and this is about this, the success profiling tool. It's about um, uh, highlighting and focusing on uh, these attributes uh, to help you become more successful. So in assignment uh, three, question one, uh, you need to mention the success profiling tool and one of these attributes and uh, whether or not you're already well developed in that attribute or whether you need to um, develop your um, develop that attribute further um, to improve your uh, opportunities of success. Uh, let's go down to the specific wording for a high distinction and it says that um, the response provides specific detail of how knowledge of the attribute so now that you realize that you that this attri attribute is one that you should be focusing on now that um, you have knowledge of this attribute how will that shape your growth as a learner and in future professional practice so if we look at the attributes, look at look at the first one. Say time management. Um, just say you're uh, you could do better in time management. So how does now now that the success profiling tool has pointed out that you could improve your time management? Um, how does um, knowledge of this? Um, how will that shape your growth as a learner and in future professional practice? So what are you going to do now to improve your skill in time management? And why is it important to improve that skill of time management for use in professional practice in the future? Okay, so I hope that's um, useful to you um, because this directly relates. What I'm trying to do in these um, recap videos is provide you with a direct guidance um, of how to use the learning materials to respond to the questions and how to demo the assignments how to demonstrate your knowledge of the learning materials in the assignments. That's what the assignments are all about. The assignments are your way of demonstrating your knowledge of your learning. And a key uh, way of doing that is um, by citing the learning materials of this unit. And uh, if you have more questions about what, we've, what I've been talking to you about today, any of what I've been talking about, whether it's to do with um, academic integrity, um, research of credible sources, or um, use of, um, or, or the mentioning the success profiling tool in question one of assignment three, please let's have that chat in the discussion boards where everyone benefits from our discussion. Thanks very much for joining me today. And from me, it's bye for now.